You know, many years ago, I was in this conference down in London and uh, they had all these different speakers come up and give uh, speeches about various different topics. They also had this, I don't think she was a psychologist, but I think she was in that field. It was one of these um, you know, personal development guru type people. And I remember she said something that almost, well, not almost, didn't make me laugh at the time. And she was talking about how there's different personality types and she was basing it on colour. So if you're orange, you have so-and-so characteristics. If you're blue, you're this. And then right at the end of her lecture, she said, well, there's some people who are mixed. They're a bit of blue and a bit of green. And I was thinking, what on earth is this lady talking about? And why is she in a dental conference talking about all these random colors? At the time, it didn't really hit me what she was really talking about. And it's something that I see sometimes in journals that pops up. And it's this little uh, mystery topic of emotional IQ. The idea that the emotional IQ is, I don't know the exact definition, I'm not going to pretend that I do, but it's that sort of the idea that uh, you're in tune with people's emotions and since dentistry is a people business, they say that the emotional IQ must be, you must be in, have a high emotional IQ or try and develop your emotional IQ. Is it, is it more important than your actual IQ as in the intelligence? Uh, side of things, uh, emotional is uh, more important. I think they even told it they eat you. Or am I thinking about the Mercedes car? I don't know. Something like that. If I'm wrong, just just, just watch a different video. <laughs> just avoid this. Or just press dislike. Uh, <laughs> but the reason I bring that up is a lot of these articles pop up and say, oh, you should improve your emotional IQ. And then you know, it's since emotion is that such a wishy-washy topic or it can be, no one really tells you how to apply that in real life as in your day-to-day -day daily practice and there's something that over the years i started doing and again this is going to sound a bit strange so bear with me is um, imagine people when you see them as you walk into a dental clinic or your colleagues or whenever you're in practice patients especially imagine everybody has a little cloud above their head right either it's to be like a nice sunny cloud with just sun you know rays shining out of it or it's to be like a little dark gray cloud or god forbid a thundery cloud with lightning bolts coming out of it sometimes you can just get a feeling people don't have to say anything but you get into tune with how someone's feeling just the way they walk in the way they carry themselves or body language or little nuances that people show and you can just you have you just imagine the cloud above their head and uh your job, I've noticed what I try to do, especially with patients, is get quicker and quicker and fine tuning the idea of recognizing what cloud are they working in with. And then your job then is to neutralize that cloud and make it into nice sunshine, sunshiny little cloud now. And it's the idea of being in tune with the other person. You know, sometimes it's very important to understand that because sometimes people walk in with a dark cloud. And if you start matching that dark cloud energy, you're gonna have a very negative outcome. And if someone walks in angry, and you, you, you respond angrily, angrily, you're gonna have a big thunderstorm and it's gonna rain down in your surgery like you've never seen before. So the idea is, whatever happens, just neutralize that cloud. Just keep your work environment, your little space, my surgery. I remember I said to my nurse, my surgery is my happy zone. It has to be my happy zone. So if you're in the surgery, we're gonna talk about nothing negative. It's gonna be a nice, calm atmosphere. Obviously, it doesn't work like that all the time. So you sometimes get a, like a deep one that's popping in, and then you know, you've got a fiery cloud, and it's all thunderstorms going off. And then you get a mess with your little cloud. But the idea is, especially with patients, that stay calm, stay nice, keep projecting that nice, positive energy. Again, I, I'm, I'm trying to give practical tips I'm hoping you're understanding what I'm talking about. If I'm not, just please tell me you're just blabbering rubbish uh, in the comments. But I think if you truly understand what I'm trying to say, it'll be a game changer for you. As in, you'll just focus your whole day on neutralizing clouds and making your own little space, especially with patients, a nice, happy place. And the patients, you realize that they'll come in calm and relaxed. Sometimes patients know they could be with that nervous energy. Because this is a very common thing sometimes patients say when they walk in and they say, 
or oh, hate coming to the dentist that they're literally vocalizing their anxiety and your job is just to neutralize that and make it into a nice maybe not a happy sunny cloud but at least you can make it into a bit more of a calm grey cloud from a thunderstorm i think maybe i need some sleep but i hope you understand what, what i'm talking about uh but yeah the idea of emotional iq is is so important i've noticed it's more important than probably anything else in the game because it's not just dealing with patients also dealing with your colleagues and dealing with uh, you know anybody else and especially if it, if there's a new member of staff or like a locum that might pop in for the day just understanding their energy and how it fits in with the rest of it uh but yeah if i've made sense give me a thumbs up if i haven't just let me know in the comments and just say or just dm me and say stop talking this rubbish at middle of the night but uh i'm hoping this helps i better go get some sleep i'll see you in the next video